My name is Rosana Lezama. I work with three human rights organizations in Venezuela, Centro para los Defensores y la Justicia, Observatorio Venezolano de Conflictividad Social, and Centro de Derechos Humanos de la Universidad Católica Andrés Bello. During the wave of massive protest in 2014, um, the tragedy and the suffering that derived from state repression as well as the calls for violence and impunity promoted and prompted by the state were saddening and maddening and frustrating all at the same time. And I think that's when it dawned on me that I wanted to do something about it. By the year 2050, I think and I hope that human rights will be seen as actual priority non-negotiable issues rather than just being part of political statements. On that note, I would want to see communities, social organizations and the population in general just being more engaged and involved with the defense and demand of human rights. As for Venezuela, I would want to see the end of this tragic situation that we're going through as a country in which the respect for human dignity is constantly and massively being undermined. As for my work, it is particularly centered around human rights documentation and advocacy, and I think that at least for the vision of 2050, these are two activities of great importance, not only in terms of disseminating the situation on the ground and calling for actions that can have a positive impact at the national level, but also for the construction of a historic memory and the seek and search for justice, truth, and reparations. Humanitarian workers and human rights defenders in Venezuela do face serious risks due to the work they carry out in the country. Human rights organizations and defenders are constantly being subjected to smear campaign threats, harassment, criminal charges, and so on and so forth. So I think what is needed in order for the human rights movement to carry out its work in a free and safe manner is the immediate seize of the policy of criminalization of the right to defend human rights. The COVID-19 pandemic had serious repercussions on the defense for human rights, particularly because this situation of alarm and necessity was used to justify further attacks and the creation of new legal measures that not only criminalize the right to defend human rights, but also that restrict the civic and democratic space in the country. So we're also seeing how the exercise of the fundamental liberties is constantly being affected, limited, and criminalized. Um, in Venezuela, the space for defense and demand of human rights is rapidly and constantly closing. So this is why the window of the international scenario and the international community continues to be of increasing importance. In that sense, I think what is needed from the international community in general and from within the UN is a concrete, coherent and unified voice in favor of the protection of human rights offenders, the safeguard of the fundamental liberties, the civic space and human dignity.